Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to the second and final part of my trophy slash achievement guide for Untitled Goose Game. In this second part we'll be getting all of the miscellaneous trophies, so the ones for doing tasks on the to do as well list. This list will become fully visible once you complete the game, and to be honest that's when I would suggest you do these trophies as all areas will be available to you. This doesn't mean you can't get them on your first playthrough, you can still do them then if you want to. If you're looking for the quickly and completion trophies, they're in part 1 and that video is linked below. I'm going to be doing each of these trophies individually in order you would encounter them playing through the game normally, starting at the garden. There is a full list of the trophies we'll be getting along with timestamps in the description. At the start of each individual trophy guide I will have just reset the world so I'll be at the start of the beginning of each section with everything intact. This should hopefully make this guide nice and easy to follow. Okay, let's get that platinum. Okay, so first up is Nasty for locking the groundskeeper out of the garden. As you can see, I've just reset here and we are at the garden, the first area. What we need to do is get the groundskeeper to come out of the garden, steal his keys, uh, lock, sorry, lock the gate, then steal his keys, and then use this shortcut I'm unblocking, kind of, <laughs> at this point, to get back into the garden with the keys. So... This is the shortcut ready. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to turn the water on to get him out. Or do I steal the radio? You can do either t either either one. Steal the yeah, steal the radio. It's just my preferred choice. Um, you can do the water or the the, the radio. He'll come out at that point. Uh, and as he does, you want to stay behind him and lock the gate. And you do that just by interacting with it, obviously. There we go. Now you want to try and get the keys off him. This can be a bit... As you can see there, it's a bit dodgy in the way if you get too close to him. But once you get them, you can uh, yeah, kind of had them and then drops them. If he gets close, you will drop them. But getting the water, he, he stops for a minute, which gives you time to get away. I'm going to use this shortcut at the back here. And once you do that, you will get the trophy. Because he will not be able to get in. But you are in, obviously. Um, I think he actually needs to walk towards the gate before you get the trophy. Yeah, so he's going to try and he has to actually realise that he can't get in. There we go. And that's the trophy. Next up we have Yummy for Cabbage Picnic, which is basically bring a cabbage to the picnic blanket. Again, this is in the same area as the previous one, we're in uh, the garden still. Um, use any way you want to to get the gardener out, doesn't matter really. And we're going to take a cabbage and take it down to the picnic blanket at the bottom, bottom right I suppose, from here. Now cabbages are a pain to manoeuvre because you can't drag them, you can't pick them up, you just have to sort of dribble them like a football. Um, and the controls aren't the best, so use... You can take it out of the shortcut and the gardener will definitely not see you, but I use this way because you can use the wall and the uh, the gate is a much larger gap to get it through. It's, it can get a bit of a pain to get it through the uh, the hedge. As you can see here, it just it goes where it wants to. Um, and you'll see by the time I get it down to the blanket, I almost get there and it just rolls off down the hill almost into the water. You get stuck in the rocks, which, which is really annoying. <laughs> uh, I think I even honk in frustration. Yeah, so it just sort of goes where it wants to. But um, as soon as you get it near the blanket, I don't think it even needs to get on the blanket. You'll get the, yeah, let's see, there you go. You get the trophy then. So for this next one, Devious makes someone from outside the high street buy back their own stuff. We're going to start in the garden like we have done the previous two, and we're going to wait, make our way to the high street. So we want to get the gardener's attention, get him out here. The quickest way is probably the, the sprinklers, but it doesn't matter which way you do it. And we're going to go run in, and we're going to go to the right to the back corner, and we're going to steal his trowel. So it's on the chair here at the back. And we're going to run to the high street, um, straight into the the shopkeeper. Um, so we drop the trowel, um, and I yeah I believe I do stay behind to watch. She will pick the trowel up, um, 
and put it on for sale basically so as you can see she already has some gardening tools there there's a, a fork and something else not sure what you could probably do this with a few other items I haven't really tested it I just noticed the gardening tools and knew it would work with this so that's why I've done it with that so you can see she puts it on and now we need to get the gardener to follow us and the easiest way to do that is steal something else and he's going to come running after us so it's pretty similar to the objective of get the boy to buy his own plane back it works well, basically it's exactly the same <laughs> um, so we need to get his attention he's going to follow us the the gardener or the the people are quicker than the goose so you will more than likely get caught and drop the flask or whatever you're carrying um, I think he gets me here so just quickly take it back out of their hand and run away you always get a little bit of a, uh, a a head start when you do that so once you get the gardener into this area you'll see his focus automatically changes to the the trowel and um, he will argue with the shopkeeper about it being his trowel and will buy it back eventually and you'll get the trophy Next is a super quick one, which is Ghastly, Trip the Boy in the Puddle. Um, obviously we are at High Street now, we've moved on from the garden. There are just one more, two, maybe two more things we need to do in the garden, um, but they are linked to later stages, so we're going to do that. First we need to honk to get the boy into the puddle, and then we need to try and untie his shoelaces by ducking down and interacting with them. There we go. And then you just need to honk, and he'll run and trip and fall. And that's <laughs> and that's the ghastly trophy, as evil as it is. So still in High Street, we have Noisy, make the shop scales go ding. This one is definitely the easiest when you're able to lock the shopkeeper in the garage. Because that's what we're about to do. It will give you full reign of her wares uh, and be able to put things on the scales you want to use probably fruit or vegetables which that's what I use um, to get her attention just steal anything take it into the garage she'll follow you in and you'll be able to um, lock her in by using this and now you can just throw as many things tomatoes um, oranges whatever you can they do kind of fall off at the same time but you need to get four of them on or near the scales you see there we just kind of get three and then move in and it's a bit you just move them around and eventually um, no not the broom there we go it kind of got four on there at that point and got the trophy then still in high street we have unlucky open an umbrella inside the TV shop this is probably one of my favorite trophies just because it'd be so random to see in real life Again, we're going to lock the shopkeeper in the garage just to get her out of the way. It just makes things easier. Steal anything, um, kind of. Get the leak, whatever. Um, get her in the garage and lock her in. This will give us free reign of the um, umbrellas that she has on offer. Just grab any one, doesn't matter which one. You need to drag umbrellas. Unfortunately, you cannot carry them. And we are going to get the TV shop open the same way you would do. Uh, normally, you'd get the boy in the um, in the phone booth. And he will ring the TV shop owner and get them to come and help him. By which point, we can uh, drag the umbrella into the shop and open it up. So you drag the umbrella by using the point, the, the front spiky bit. And then you move to the back where the handle is and that will open it. So there you can see at this point you would drag the umbrella so we just need to wait for the phone call to happen so now we're clear just wait a give it a little while so she doesn't spot you she do there it gives it enough time and then drag it in and move around to the, f the other side of the handle open it up and there we go <laughs> Thank you. 
Yet again, we're still in High Street and this is dreadful for trapping the boy in the garage. I'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory. We need to get the boy into the garage. Um, you can get the toy. This is easy. You can honk all the way to sort of herd him into the garage if you want to. But it's easy just to grab the plane um, and take it in. He won't actually go into the garage, but he will stand there allowing you to just get behind him and honk. Uh, getting him into the garage, like so, and then just pull the uh, the cord down, trap him in, and uh, you may have to wait until he starts banging on the door like that, and then that's when you get the trophy. Still in High Street kind of is nimble for scoring a goal this is probably the worst one of all of the trophies we need to take the football the boys football all the way to the back gardens the third back garden so not the one with the man not the one with the woman the one afterwards where there is a, uh, a goal uh, and kick the ball into it problem is the ball handles like the cabbage um, and it can only be dribbled you can't pick it up you can't you can sort of punch at it with your beak and it will move in some really random direction so it is easier just to try and dribble it which is not easy to do with the controls so I'm going to show you the whole thing anyway but here's where we need to go just the normal way up to the uh, the back gardens. You could probably go the other way if you wanted to, um, in between the gardens and that, but it doesn't really make much difference. I would probably go, uh, recommend you go this way because there are straight walls and you can kind of push the ball against the wall, making it a bit easier. But we need to, the, the most difficult part is getting the ball through the fence, um, both fences, through the, the man's fence at the beginning here and then again through the, the final fence. You don't need to get the ball through the middle fence from the man's garden into the, the woman's garden. You just let the man see you with the ball and he'll throw it over as he does with everything. He just throws everything over the garden. So this is the, the trickiest bit now because there's, there's hedges in the way and there is a slight hill here. You can't really make it out but there is one so the ball will try and roll off behind you get it away past the, the fence so it doesn't roll away try and break the fence so it falls in I know I don't but try and break the fence so it falls in because I had to cut maybe four minutes of me trying to there you saw the cut of me trying to get this ball through that fence it is ridiculous um, to get the man's attention and he will come over and pick the ball up and he will throw it over into next door's garden she won't interact with it, so you don't need to worry about her. You just need to worry about getting the bloody thing <laughs> through the hole at the end of uh, of her garden. Which again is not the easiest, because there's all sorts in the way. You push it, try and push it onto this, this fence. It gives you a bit of an easier time. Again, I think I do cut... Um, trying to get it through here it took me a couple of maybe a couple of minutes because it just rolls where it wants to and if you try and use your beak as you, you notice I'm not using my beak but you can um, push it with your beak and it's it's not accurate so I wouldn't really recommend it but once you finally do here we go we're we gonna do it this time now see you push it with the beak and it doesn't really go anywhere it went completely the wrong direction so then I'm pushing it and now he steps over it. So eventually we'll get it through into this garden and there is a, a little pop-up soccer football net here. Just push it in to score a goal. That was easy, wasn't it? Next we are staying in the back gardens and this is careful for catching an object that's thrown over the fence. You can use pretty much anything that is small uh, and not owned by the man. So I um, quickly run into here. You can anything you can use, but I use the bar of soap because it is closest to the desk at the top. That's all. 
Um, so we get the desk down, allowing us back into the garden. I'm going to take the soap. Um, and drop down. You kind of want to leave it. Uh, tr I try and get him a bit further down to give me time to get back into the other garden and in place. He kind of doesn't see it. He gets confused by it. Yeah, see, he, he doesn't know where it is, even though it's right in front of him. If this is the case, you're going to have to run back and get him to... Uh, to see it and throw it over so there just drop it run back and run up to the top top patio area and be ready for him to throw it and all you need to do is press the interact button as it comes over and there you go now we have moved on slightly this is the the pub um, for pretty dress up the bust with things from outside the back gardens we need to do quite a lot of running around and this is why we're starting at the pub the post the post the bust is in the um, the back gardens and we need to dress it up with three items so something needs to go in its mouth something needs to go on its head and it needs to wear some glasses so for the mouth I choose um, the dummy or pacifier if you want to call it that um, which can be found in the pub area or in between the pub and the um, the back gardens exit so we're going to make our way up you don't need to worry about doing everything um, right away just drop it in the back garden with the man uh, make sure he sees it and he will throw it um, into the woman's garden allowing you to just move on quickly and, and go and get the next thing so we'll break the fence down, give him a honk, yeah there he sees the dummy and he'll throw it over the fence allowing us to move on. Next we need a hat and some glasses, we're going to go and get the hat next. We're going to use the farmer's hat, you could use probably the old man's hat at the pub. The farmer's hat's probably easier to get as you don't have to mess about um, trying to avoid the the burly man at the pub who's going to throw you out so it's the same as last time we're going to go into the garden um, we're going to pick up the flower to get the man the the gardener's attention so yeah just clear the way as well because you need to make a run for it he's going to notice you so where is he there you are come on come and plant this flower again so he's going to plant this we're just going to take the hat from the front you take it from the front, he definitely notices you, so you have to run. You take it from the side, he doesn't notice you, but it doesn't really matter because we're just making a quick exit. Again, we're going to run up to the back gardens with this, just drop it in for the, the man to throw over the fence, and we're going to move on to go and get some glasses. Um, obviously, there are plenty of glasses down um, in the, the high street. There's the, boy glass, the boys' glasses, and then there's three glasses in the... Um, the shop itself. I choose to use the shop itself, but it's up to you. So we'll take this back in, honk, get his attention, and run off again. So everything will stay there, you don't need to worry, it's not going to disappear. Everything in this game stays exactly where you leave it until you reset. So make the way down to the stop to the shop, to the store. And if the woman is in the way, you can lock her in the garage to get her out of the way. If she has her back turned to you, unfortunately she is in my way. Uh, if she's not in your way, you can uh, quickly, she might have a, a back turned to you at the other end of the shop. You can quickly run in and get some glasses. So yeah, try to get the cord the first time. There's a big stand here with them on, three, three pairs. Just choose any pair. Run back up. And obviously we're going to be throwing this into the man's garden. He's going to be throwing it over into next door's garden. And there'll be a pile of items waiting for us. The woman will not have started putting them on the bus though. So what we're going to have to do is go into her garden and place them all near the bus. So she starts putting them on. You can see them there. There's the hat and the, the dummy. Right, he 
he's thrown the glasses over. So place them all in the, uh, the little tray or near. And the woman will eventually come along when she sees them. Try and get her attention. There we go. She uh, she kind of moves them around as a bit of a weird cycle. So she picks the glasses up and then she sees the hat. Oh, that's a hat. Oh, there's a dummy there as well. And then she eventually goes back and puts them all in. And once all three items are on, you will get the trophy. So we're back outside the pub again now, and this is for Intrepid, get thrown over the fence. Um, this is, I believe, the only way you can do it. Um, this is the way I do it, is steal the box from outside of the pub. And then obviously we're going to take that into the man's garden, uh, get in the box before he notices us, and he's going to throw us over the fence. And that is as simple as this one is. So the, the box, again, like the football and the cabbage and whatever, can be a bit of a, a pain to get through the fence in the gap. The fence in the gap? The gap in the fence. <laughs> so I'm going to drag it all the way. A bit of a cut there because, um, <laughs> yeah, for reasons. Uh, it took me a long time to try and get the box through the fence, so I just restarted and did it again. So... Try and push the, the planks out of the way. No, don't get in the box. No, oh, come on. So yeah, this is a thing that can happen as well. Uh, you, you don't want the big thing. You want the little there at the top. You want the little uh, lines. There we go. Now we need to try and drag it through. If the planks are in the way, you might not even be able to get the box through, which is why I had to restart. So you need to honk when you're in the box. Get the man's attention. He's going to walk over, see the box, and throw you over the fence. And that is it. Simple as. Starting back at the back gardens now, we are going to do elegant for performing at the pub wearing a ribbon because we're moving on to the pub area now. Um, same as before as we've done as you need to do for the, the main list, we need to get this woman to uh, put the ribbon on us. So we're going to need to move this duck or goose, I suppose it is a goose because it's the same size as us, um, out of the way, out of sight. And stand in place. You might have to wait a while while she uh, does whatever that is <laughs> and um, starts pathing back and eventually she'll see the ribbon. I think she'll do, she always does the fence first so we have to wait for that. But once that's up she'll come and put the ribbon on. But unfortunately we can't take the quick way to the the pub. You can't go through the hedge on the, the left hand side to leave, uh, the ribbon will catch on the hedge. So you have to go the long way around. So you're going to have to um, pull this desk apart and climb up and go through the guy's garden. Careful not to get caught by him. He'll, uh, he'll get the ribbon back off you. Should be easy enough though. You just need to get through the gap. And then you need to go the long way around. So you definitely need to have this shortcut open up here. There is no other way around. If you don't have either of the two shortcuts to the pub open, you won't be able to get in with the ribbon. Because you can go, you can go up, up stream, up canal, to the other shortcut, but again there is a gate there as well. So they definitely both need to be open. So I do make a bit of a mess, so there is a cut. I believe no not on this one sorry it'll be on the on the next trophy there is a bit of a, a, a mess it was with the flowers with the uh, that we'll be getting later so once the um, the baker or whatever brings you in 
just jump out the box and the performance we need to do is for these two women for the flower and that's the one it's referencing so just step up here do the honk do the bow and then flap your wings and there we go that is elegant So we're starting at the pub now. This is for lovely sail the toy boat under a bridge. That is any bridge, but there is only one toy boat and it's in the pub. This is the area um, where you're most likely to get caught and drop your items. So we're gonna have to be careful in here. Enter the pub the same way you always would with the baker carrying you in. And then we're gonna go up to the top area, the, the bar, the decking. Uh, that is where the toy boat is. It's in the sink, but I'm sure you already know that. So get under here. Look out for the lady. Uh, she doesn't see us, which is good. Turn the water on. And when you get under this first table, again, she always tries to go and turn the water off, but get her attention by honking, and she'll stay near you. If you press R1, you can bring the camera out and keep your eye on the water level. As soon as the water starts um, flowing over, that's when you can grab the boat. So you want to get her right round to this front edge here, which is going to give us the most time to go and grab the boat. You're going to want to dance around this little table um, to get her out of the way. It can be a bit, bit finicky trying to get under the tables with an item in your mouth, but don't worry too much about that. Get the man's attention. Oh, that was close. And then we're going to go under this decking. <laughs> That's a, a lovely chase chase animation he has there. And we're going to go out this way. You do need to have this shortcut open here um, at the top top end, but I'm sure you already have. And then we can drop. You can get in the water and you can drop um, the boat closer, and it's not going to take as long to go downstream. But I wanted to play poo sticks, so I wanted to, <laughs> to run all the way back and get on the bridge and watch the boat go under. Would have made for a shorter video had I just gone and put it under the bridge, but I wanted to do this. I'm not sure whether you can have the boat in your mouth as it goes under the bridge. Probably not. So we're going to have to wait, I'm afraid, as the boat goes underneath. But as soon as it does, we'll get the lovely trophy. And that will be that one. Next up, we have Cheeky for stealing the old man's woolen hat. This is the last kind of miscellaneous one. The next one is, is I suppose, a collectible one with the five flowers. Um, but Cheeky, steal the old man's woolen hat. This is pretty self-explanatory. Again, we need to get into the pub area using this box. And then we're going to go and uh, harass the, uh, the old man in the back who's playing darts. But we want him to be using his uh, harmonica. So you may have to wait for that to happen. But if you just stand here and wait a minute, he'll finish his darts game up. And he'll move on to his next thing there. When he holds his back, he wants to have a sit down. So if he does spot you like this, try and move away. Turn your back to him and he'll continue with his animation. You don't want to grab this chair as he tries to sit down. Don't do it slowly. Do it quickly. Otherwise he notices. And then as he's fallen, don't grab the chair again. Grab the hat off his head. And that's cheeky. Okay, so this last one now, beautiful for collecting all of the five flowers is the next eight minutes of this video. Um, 
it is quite long. There is a flower in each area. I'm sure you probably know where each one is. Obviously, this is one of them. The one we have been using to distract the gardener this whole time. So, this is the basket we need to... It doesn't actually mention in the uh, the trophy. It mentions it in the, um, the to-do list that you need to put it in the basket. But that is the basket we need to return each flower to. So that I get, like I said, there is one in each area. Um, you may be thinking there are only four areas, but there is also one in the miniature village as well. So make your way to the the high street, however you want to do it. Um, you may have to lock the shopkeeper in. If you're lucky she will have her back turned to you and you can grab the flower and quickly make a run for it but unfortunately I'm not so lucky so she, I don't know why she does this she kind of paths waiting for the uh, trying to get the brush first which is frustrating so we're just going to have to let these things happen the NPCs kind of have a, a hierarchy of things they need to do first and apparently putting the brush away is the first thing she needs to do and after that she will go and get whatever's in the garage at which point we can lock her in and go and get the the white flower I'm not actually sure which one it is the name I'm not too good on flowers it looks like a, a lily of some not a lily um, oh, I think it's my wife's favorite flower I probably should know this it looks like it I think it says it in the to-do list so again, we're going to be running all the way back to this basket and popping it down. I'm pretty sure you all know which is the next flower. It is the one in the back gardens that we uh, we have to get the woman to cut it off, which is, is pretty simple once we're all set up like this because we can just get her to... Uh, we can pull the, um, the flower bed down towards her topiary uh, jump in her garden mess it all up and she'll um, cut it and we can just take the flower nice and quick so enter the same way we always do run straight down and pull the uh, the bedding down so it's in line with the squirrel through here mess this hedge up try and get her attention Come on, let's speed this process up a bit. Oh no. Of course, she's going to go and do the fence first because that's her, her hierarchy, that's her thing. And then straight away she's going to go and uh, tidy up her squirrel. Wow, that sounded weird. <laughs> uh, and on the, first, on the third cut she's going to cut the rose. And we can just pick it and run. Go round. We should try and go around the man. He's going to go and try and get his flower back. Lots of running in this one, I'm afraid. I do apologise if you can hear things in the background. It's a rainy, horrible day, and there seem to be a lot of trucks outside for some reason. So there we go. The next flower is another one we've interacted few. You may have interacted with a few times, but we definitely know how to get it. And that is in the pub. This is where I cut because there we go. <laughs> there was a bit of a mess up with the um, with the the burly man as I got in. He chased me out straight away, and he does try to do it again this time. It's it's weird. I've used the timing every every time I've gone into the pub. The same time, the same timing. I would get out of the box and yet he sees me this time uh, and the previous time but I managed to evade him so that is it's, it must be because I get stuck in the box but that's the same time I usually get out of that box is when the uh, when he gets ticked off so if you just if it does happen you can go under the the balcony uh, or you can just hide around here once he does that, go and perform for these two ladies again. 
do the honk, do the bow, and flap your wings, and you're going to get the flower. Obviously, getting this flower out is um, a bit more difficult. You could go the long way and go through the back, I suppose. Um, but as the basket is just on the other side here, I want to try and get out this way. Get the man's attention again, run under here, circle round, and you'll have more than enough time to get out of there. So yeah, because the basket is just over this bridge here, so you, you do want to make come this way really, just to cut down time. And there we go. Now to go and get the final flower, which is also going to be the final trophy, and you will see me get the platinum as well. And at this point, if you followed the guide, you should have it as well. I've covered every trophy. So you can go either way you want. You can, if you really wanted to, you go back through the pub if your shortcut's not open for any reason. But luckily the uh, the flower is right at the beginning of the, the model village, so we don't have to go too far. It's this orange one here next to the shed in the farmer. Poor farmer, stealing two flowers from him. So I'll make the way back to the basket, and as soon as you drop it in, that task will get ticked off. And you'll get the trophy. So this was an extremely fun game. Uh, I'm sure you can, you'll agree with me on that. So I don't mind doing easy platinums if the games are as good as this. Um, right, there we go. Drop it in. Get the trophy. Celebrate. You will also get a reward if you go back home. I haven't shown you what it is. But if you go back right to back to the beginning, you will get it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.